Hey, what's going on guys? Robert here from robertsproductions.net coming at you with a Facebook cover template update for 2013. I uh, made a tutorial about this a while back and they've since made a few updates, but this one really goes out of whack if you can tell by the page here. So I updated it and it's a little different. It's about the same process, but some of the things might have changed. So let's actually go ahead and get started. What you want to do is import an image right in between these two layers. Here you have the bottom bar and you have just this layer that tells you to place the image above this layer. So this is where the image is going to be in between these two layers. And what we want to do is extract the profile picture along with the cover photo. So we're just going to grab the rectangular marquee tool right here. And we are going to zoom in pretty close here and I'm holding down the space bar to move around. Click right in there within the guidelines and we can go down to the bottom edge right in here just like that. Okay so we have that selected let's go to edit copy merged and we're going to go to file new. So here's this we can name it profile pick and so the width is 160 by 160. Now Facebook only accepts images at 180 by 180 and they downscale it to 160 by 160. So let's just change this to 180 by 180. And I'm hitting tab there, by the way. Click OK. So here we have the profile pic outline. Let's go to Edit, Paste. And that pastes it right in the middle, in the center of the image. So I can hit V to go back to my Move tool. Just, just a real quick shortcut key. And let's move this up to the top corner. And just make sure it's it's nicely in there, not, not too far in there. And then just hit Control or Command T if you're on a Mac to transform this and just size this up. You don't have to be proportional, just size it up. And so now I don't have snapping on, so it's going to not be very nice to me. So if I just real quickly like I'll go to view, snap, check that. Once you have the size correct, just hit enter or you can hit the little check mark if you haven't noticed there's check marks along with a um, cancel button. So let's hit enter. And here we have the profile image. We can double click the magnifying glass to bring this at 100% view. We can just go to the file, save as, and we want to save this as the profile pic and as a JPEG. Just like that, click save. And you know, you can choose the quality. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with 12 since the size isn't going to be too bad. Click OK. And now we can go get our cover photo. So all we have to do is go back to the rectangular marquee tool here, click from the top left corner, drag down right over the blue. So now my snapping is not turned on. Once again, go to view, snap, try that again, and it'll snap right to the guides. Once you have that selection, go to edit, copy merged, file new. And here we have the cover photo. Now you'll notice that it actually goes to 851 by 314. Now Facebook actually recommends 851 by 315. So we're just gonna add one pixel, hit 315, click OK. And then here we're gonna edit, paste. So as you can see, we have a little white on top in which we can hit Control T for this image and just size it up one pixel. Hit Enter and go to File, Save As, JPEG once again, and let's Save this as cover photo, click save. A quality of 12 works, 263K. All right, click OK. And now we can go to Facebook. So let's go ahead and click change cover photo. Let's upload our cover photo right here. Click open. All right, and you'll notice that you won't be able to drag this around. So just click save changes. It's fine just the way it is. And so now let's go to edit profile picture, upload that photo, profile pic, open. And right now, it's not looking too good. The uh, mouth is much bigger than the face here. So what we're going to do is go to Edit Profile Picture again, click Edit Thumbnail, and we want to click Scale to Fit. Make sure that's checked. Click Save. And your profile photo should match up pretty nicely with the cover photo. And so there you have it. And hopefully this template will last a little longer until Facebook updates it once more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.